Hello everybody, welcome to the Organic Garden here at Alila Ubud. I'm here today with Chef Wayan, my name is JP, and we're going to take you on a culinary journey and showing you how to make one of the most popular dishes here at the hotel, which is rendang. Stay tuned and we'll, we're ready to go. Alright chef, walk us through the ingredients that we need to make this rendang. So basically the main ingredient will be the beef. Uh, so we use it brisket. So we uh, marinate overnight with the spice that we show you later how to make it. And we have uh, garlic that already chopped, salad already chopped, red chili, seeded, and also we have uh, coconut. Later we make coconut meal and uh, the secret of the rendang is serundeng, so toasted coconut. We show you as well how to make it later. And we have the cinnamon stick. We have the coriander that's already toasted and we make it powder later. And we have the palm sugar. We have here is a salam leaf. And we have lemongrass as well here. Uh, maybe this one a bit strange. This one is a shrimp paste. Uh, you can substitute with uh, anchovy if you like. And we have also the dried chili. So basically half uh, from red chili is dried chili. This one is a uh, candle nut. You can substitute with uh, macadamia. And this one is a uh, long pepper. We call it uh, tabiobun in our bahasa. And this one is uh, tamarind. So we use the water from the tamarind later. And don't forget the ketchup manis, our Indonesian product. Okay, next one will be the turmeric. No need to really fine for this one. This one is softer. And lesser galangal or aromatic ginger. Candle nut. Some shrimp paste. Red chili. This one is well need a bit fine, otherwise hard to blend it. Mm. The shallot, just put it in. And garlic is half uh, amount of, from the salad. And this special pepper, long pepper. Just put it in. I'm ready to found it on a modern pestle. So one hand is holding, and the other hand I give pressure, and then just. Uh, Move and back until it's become nice space. Okay, as you can see, uh, the paste is getting finer now. After a while, you just put, uh, add on some coconut oil to so make it easier. Not too much, otherwise, uh, later will be sauteed again. And this paste uh, we use for marination for beef as well. Okay, so this is the paste that, uh, that was used to marinate the beef we saw earlier. Yes, correct. So, you make the paste first and then you marinate the beef. Okay, that's it. Now it's done. The most important ingredient for the rendang, of course, coconut milk. So here in Alilubud, we want to make our own coconut milk. Uh, basically, just uh, grated coconut, add on some drinking water, and just squish it. Now, for people who don't have access to fresh grated coconut, can they just use packaged coconut milk? Sure, sure. You can just buy it in the supermarket and we can use it as well. But here, we want to use the fresh ingredient. First, we add on drinking water in the grated coconut. And we just squish it. 
you can see the color getting really milky. How long do you squeeze this for, chef? Uh, only like one minute. See, now you can see it's like well, and then you just strain it. Just strain it all, and you can you can see you get the fresh coconut milk. All right, chef. What do we? How do we start? So after the pan is heated up, and we just put the coconut oil that infused already with turmeric. You can see the yellow one. Like. Pan has to be this hot, yeah? Smoking. Yeah. And then you just uh, put in all together and stir it. All right. Thank you. you. Can smell it? Yep. Oh, that smells really nice, huh? And then you just bang the lemon grass. Yeah. You can see so if you just add the lemongrass like that. Not enough oil, and then just put it. And also, you get the palm sugar. The palm sugar. If they don't have palm sugar, what can they use? Uh, they can have honey if you want a healthier version. Uh huh. It's no problem at all. This uh, brown sugar they can use also. Yeah, brown sugar as well can. Okay, honey, brown sugar are good substitute yeah. for palm sugar. And this uh, coriander, this already powdered. The coriander powder? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just cinnamon stick. So and just, just break the cinnamon like that. That's yeah. about um, three inches of cinnamon. Correct. And just here some kaffir lime leaf. Kaffir limes, okay. Yeah. What can they use for kaffir limes as a substitute? Uh, bay leaf, if you don't have it. And okay. This, uh, and this one is uh, our fresh bay leaf. Okay. Okay. So this is a fresh bay leaf. Yeah. Dried bay leaf will do okay as well? Yeah. Okay. Well. Perfect. Okay. And see, now smell gets getting nice, stronger. Yes, getting stronger and stronger. You can smell that lemongrass. Yeah. You can smell the kaffir limes. And the cinnamon is starting to nice. come out as well. Mm. See? And we cook it like about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So yeah. we have to get this browned a little bit? Yes, correct. Excellent. All right. So we'll leave it to let brown. You see now the color getting darker. Now this almost ready, so get ready the beef. Just and that's the marinated beef with the same mm -hmm. spice paste. Yes, correct, correct. Okay. You now just uh, put it in, and stir it, and let infuse more the spice in it. This like take about uh, ten more minutes before we add on the coconut milk. All right, chef. I think the beef is ready. What do uh, what do we put in next? Yeah. Now we just need the coconut milk. Put in little by little. Not too much, because this one uh, dry curry. So make sure when you put it water or the coconut milk is not too much. Make sure the spice is cooked properly. That's the difference between the curry and rendang. So the rendang is drier. And you actually cook the liquids down and then you add more liquid Correct. as you go. Correct. Okay, and then now can add on a little bit more. See now the coconut milk getting split. Like you no, know, like really things. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. And the smell as well. You can smell the coconut yeah. now. See now getting rich. All the spices rubbed. In the meat and this one will be cooked for about six to seven hours and while waiting this one we make the foya you remember the coconut ready coconut the one we use for the coconut to make the coconut milk yes correct uh -huh. and then we use that one so zero waste we make it for surrounding we call it basically like toasted coconut okay so we'll use the same coconut for the, for yes. the surrounding excellent this is looking good chef all right, chef. While this is simmering, what are you doing over there? Okay, so we make the poya, or we call it surundang, basically toasted coconut. Later, uh, when we're done, we put it back to the rendang. So what we do is just take some spice from the rendang, not too much, just to make it uh, the coconut wet a little bit, and then just put in the coconut that left over from the coconut milk. Okay, so you're toasting me. the coconut in the spice paste as well? Correct. And then we just 
first tip. This one needs like maybe an hour. This one till it's dry, so coconut tea and smoky flavor. So getting the rendang rich. You have to richer. do it really slowly. Correct. Really... So uh, when cooking rendang, need your patience. Cannot be. Can't be rushed. Yes, correct. But that's why it's so good. You see, after one hour, the coconut getting darker and this crunchy. Mm. And it's done. So ready. We put it to the rendang when the rendang is almost done. All right, Chef, where are we at right now? Okay, after six hours, now you can see uh, getting really dark. And now the time to put in the tamarind water. Just dilute some tamarind. That's the tamarind block that yes. we saw earlier that yeah. we just diluted in water. Correct. Right. Okay. So just a little bit of that just goes a long bit, way, yes. yeah? Correct. And then now it's the you know toasted coconut. Okay. We'll start to put it in. And this will dry it even more. Yeah. It will absorb it all the all the juices, all the oils. Yes, correct. And nutty, smoky flavor will be there. Well, you can smell that nutty flavor from, and then the coconut mm. aromas. Don't forget the salt. Just a little bit of salt. Correct. Okay. And then the secret. See the ketchup manis. Our ketchup manis is Indonesian sweet soy sauce. Now, Chef, if they can't uh, access ketchup mayonnaise, how can they make their own at home? Uh, you just mix uh, half part of the soya sauce with the one part of uh, molasses mm -hmm. and add one part of water. So this will be substitute for the ketchup mayonnaise. Perfect. And you can add on a grated ginger in it. Just a little bit of grated yes, ginger. just a little bit. Okay, now we just need to cook it another one hour and it will be ready. Alright chef, so it's been an hour since we added the coconut. We've been adding little by little some coconut water and uh, some stock, vegetable stock, just to make sure it doesn't dry. And now I think we have good color. Yeah, it's ready now. You can see in the coconut. Beef is tender as beef well. Tenders. It's ready. Perfect, let's give it a try. Okay, now it's ready. We just see. The beef's very tender and just put it on the plate nicely. See the coconut and spice all together. Okay, and what we do, we just add some fresh coconut as a garnish and toasted coconut on top. The renang is ready. Wow, that looks really good. Look at the color, brown, and then let's give it, give it a try. That's it. That is fantastic, chef. Truly amazing. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a commitment to make a good rendang, but when you do a good one, my gosh. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Chef. Thank you.